Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Thought I'd come out to the beach early this morning. Had an opportunity to catch a sunrise. It's been a while since I've been out for sunrise. Hopefully I'll see Roy out here this morning. He's not here yet. He's usually out here bright and early. You can see the dredging barges with their lights on out there in the pass. A lot of shells along the shore here. It's still pretty dark. The sun's just getting ready to rise. Very calm out here in the Gulf this morning, really flat. I'm gonna try to hustle up to Wiggins Pass here. And catch that sun coming up. No clouds out here this morning. Got our moon out here, full moon setting. Called Roy, he didn't answer his phone, so I left a message on his machine, letting him know I was out here. I wanted to chat with him a little more about his book. I want to try to encourage him not to rush it. I think he's trying to rush it through just to get it done and get it out there, but I'd like to see him take his time and He's got so much to share with us. Boy, there is a lot of shells on the beach this morning. I can, I can barely see them. There is a lot of shells. Maybe on the way back from sunrise, we'll do some shelling. There's, there's a little whelk there, a piece of a whelk shell. Man. I just want to get up, want to get up to Wiggins Pass for sunrise. Sure if we're lucky, maybe we'll see a dolphin today. I'm not smelling any of that nasty old red tide. It's still lurking out there in the Gulf, though. That's for sure. Still dark, but I don't see any signs of any more dead fish on the beach any new dead fish looks like there's they're getting the ones that were on the beach picked up finally there's a lot of them here but hopefully they'll get it cleaned up soon that's the barge over there with the lights on the one of the dredging barges they're using to dredge out Wiggins Pass. Hurricane Irma really screwed Wiggins Pass up. There's, that's looking to the east. That's where the sun's gonna be popping up here shortly. a lot of big cockle shells on the beach as I'm walking along here this morning. There's one down here. There's one nice cockle right there. I've seen quite a few of them laying along the shore this morning.
Nothing like the sound of a dredging barge to ruin the solitude of a sunrise. Getting some colors in the sky up here. Boy, look at all the shells along the shore here. I hope the tide's still going out. We can hopefully we can do some shelling on the way back. There's a little baby conch shell right there. Little baby Florida fighting conch. We do have some colors up here this morning, getting some pinks in the sky. Some of those really thin, high, wispy clouds. I don't know if you can see the shells on the beach here all out here in front of me piles of them wow. almost up to the north end of the park here I'm sure you can hear that barge now. It's pretty loud out there. And some nice colors. Nice colors happening there. around 66 degrees right now expecting a high of up around 88 today beautiful beautiful colors there this morning That was me just taking a picture there. See, I saw a lot of fighting conks as I was walking up here too. Where's a nice little olive shell down here? There's an olive shell. See, you find a lot of olive shells on the beach. Find some pretty good size olive shells once in a while. nice breeze up here a nice breeze up at the pass feels like it's an offshore breeze so that's great keep that red tide out keep it off the beach This is the north end of Del Norwegens Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. This is actually Wiggins Pass where we're at right now. I don't know if you can hear the breeze blowing into the microphone. Absolutely gorgeous. All the birds flying by. The water actually looks pretty nice out here this morning dark hard to see it there's that barge out there some pelicans flying by seagulls there's an 
osprey circling overhead here, just above me. Got a full moon up there. That little white dot, that's the moon setting. It's an osprey right up there. Looking for some fish. Some pretty nice little colors happening here. Look at all the birds, wow. Lots of seagulls flying around the pass over here. Beautiful out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Boy, just on the other side of the pass, there's hundreds of seagulls flying around over at the tip of Barefoot Beach. Rocking and rolling here. There's a few fishermen out here already. Always nice to see fishermen out here in the morning. That darn barge is out there. Boy, the birds just keep coming. You can see the moon there. Our sun's going to be rising over there where those clouds are. Boy, lots and lots of seagulls here this morning.
Looks like our sun's just getting ready to come up right over there. here in the past either. There was some pelicans flying by. <clears throat> that noise you're hearing in the background, that's that dredging barge. You can see it out there. It was all lit up when we came out this morning. like setting there you can see that little white dot up in the sky just to the left of center yeah there comes captain roy mosey on moseying on up the beach before the sun was up i was there was a lot of shells i saw a lot of shells walking up there this morning Hopefully the tide won't come in and we'll be able to do a little shelling on the way back down the beach this morning. There comes Captain Roy. Way down there. That little dot on the beach, right down there. That's Roy. I'm glad I I'm glad he's out here. And here comes our son. Good morning. There it is, peeking over the trees. Beautiful. Another glorious day in paradise. I'm gonna take a quick photo, bear with me. Good morning, Naples. Good morning, world. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That big orange ball, wow. Glorious. Nothing beats coming out to the beach for a sunrise. Now all we need are dolphins leaping up out of the water here. Beautiful out this morning. In the upper 60s right now. Little breeze blowing, expecting a high of 88 today.
only problem is we have that darn dredge out there making all that racket this morning. Right out there. Hey, how you doing? There's our buddy. Absolutely beautiful out here. Rainbow rays from the sun over the trees. Absolutely oh, gorgeous. Isn't it though? Oh, what a morning. Rainbow rays and breezes <laughs> blowing, sun rising. It's the no sea, the wind's nice. It keeps yeah, those no seams yeah, off no us. Seams and it isn't too fishy smelling. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Glorious, glorious. Let, that, it? let that sun come up and Boy, start. you're bright and early this morning. I saw your car when I drove in. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had a morning off, so I wanted to come down here for sunrise. Oh, morning off, wonderful. Well, you came to the right spot. Early morning off. Ah, here comes Elsie. <laughs> oh, there she is. Hi, hey, Elsie. Elsie. How you been? Missed you yesterday morning. Yeah, I couldn't handle the smell. Uh, yeah, it's better today. Oh, yeah, it's great today. Hiya. Good. Miss, what a way to start the day. Oh, <laughs> well, it's got to be a good one because I'm leaving. No, uh, for, forever? I mean, no, 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 <laughs> forever, but, uh, no, just till next fall. That's what I mean, yeah. my gosh. Uh -oh. oh, we're going to miss you. So I thought, I don't care if it's smelly fish or not, I have to come down and see more. Get, right. that, get that last hug. Today's my last oh, day. My oh, my gosh. Boy. Well, we're going to miss you. You're an well, institution at the beach. Well, I've gotten to be, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too many of us here? Really? Oh. Oh, yeah, well, no. I saw Sherry this yeah, morning. I just talked to her. She said she had an operation. Yeah. She looking good. Yeah. She's got the three of us are kind of uh, the regulars. <laughs> well, and old Rob, too. Yeah, well, he's kind of late. He must sleep in the morning. Yeah, he's no. usually this early. <laughs> I no. usually have to be to work early. Oh, that pesky yeah. deal. I'm glad I'm done Before with the sun comes up. Yeah, well. <laughs> One day you'll be old like us. Oh, you yeah. <laughs> old. <laughs> That's not old. <laughs> That's the reward of getting old. You don't have to go to work. <laughs> oh, and Sherry even said she'd give me a big 20 bucks for my old wife. What's wrong about this? Well, when did you start on that? Well, I've been working on it for a while. Old Rob kind of stimulated me to get going <laughs> on it. About it on your He's always Facebook. asking me for some word of wisdom, and I... I thought I'd incorporate them in a little little booklet. So I've been working on that, and uh, so it's it's been a lot of fun. And so when is it going to be going to be available well, for? Um, well, public? what I what I'm going to do is is the first 50. When I get 50 people sending in their 20 bucks, that'll cover my production costs to get it printed. And so then I'll print it up and send it out to to the people who send in their money. And if I don't get 50 people, I'll just send them their money back. So um, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Well, <laughs> you know, because they, they wouldn't have a book. book I right. Do. But I think 50 will send in 20 bucks, and then I'll have enough dough to well, take I'll, print I'll it. send you 20 bucks. Hey, wonderful. We're going to we'll chat with Roy here some more in a minute. Let's watch enjoy this beautiful sunrise. Absolutely glorious. A glorious morning here, as Roy would say.
That's looking east up the Cocahatchee River from Wiggins Pass. Up in North Naples. Well, let's go do some shelling. Anything interesting on the beach this morning now that there's some light it's pretty dark when I started out here our moon is still up there it's like a full moon right up there behind that little cloud that little white dot that's our full moon up there the old dredging barge one of the barges to see Roy out here early in the morning. I'll see you down the beach in a little while, okay? Well, I was, uh, I had, you know, I, I found in my drawer about a half a dozen more of those uh, booklets All right. that I did on, so the first 25 will get it free booklet and I, and I looked at it I I didn't remember and the name of it is happiness or hardship your choice it's right. got about 30 illustrations I had a really good artist out in California All right I there's saw 30 it. really good illustrations what? in the booklet I'll and we'll so, talk about that down here okay F keep, finish your conversation with Elsie <laughs> all right you, you're gonna be down the beach yep Hey, look forward to seeing you, Rob. All Thank right. You. Good to see you again. Yep, Elsie. So Have a safe early. trip home. Thank you. See you on Facebook. Okay, well. <laughs> Got a bad connection happening right now. That's the picture. Got fuzzy. That's what it is. It was a bad connection. It was giving me a warning on the screen. Roy's all excited about his book. So he said he found some more of his little happiness books. So now it's the first 25 orders. We're gonna get that. And it's just a little small book, maybe, I don't know, four by four with some illustrations and some little sayings in it. But it's, it's a nice little bonus. We'll chat with Roy about his book in a, a little later on this morning. I want to do a little shelling. It looked like there were a lot of shells this morning when I was walking up to Wiggins Pass here. But it was really dark, so it was hard to see what was down there. Beautiful sunrise this morning. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for getting out of bed. That sun's really bright now. Weak connection up here, weak signal. See what happens as we walk further down the beach. I don't know why the signals going in and out on us up here this morning. It's 
beautiful morning. Nice and clear. I don't know if I could sit out on that barge all day and all night listening to that noise. I guess those guys paid pretty good money to be out there. Look at those clouds up there. A couple jet trails, a couple con trails. Isn't that beautiful? blues and the whites. Yeah, I guess they run that barge 24-7. Oops. Didn't want to see that. Let's try and zoom in. See if you can see any of the guys walking around out there. Where the sand goes that they pump up. I don't know where they're moving it to. Oh, let's keep walking down the shore. See what we come across. I did see a lot of fighting conks on the beach this morning. There's one empty shells. The shell of a Florida fighting conk. Saw quite a few of these as I was making my way up to Wiggins Pass this morning. There's another one down there. A little different color. Looks like it's a little older. It's got some cool barnacles on it. Isn't that neat? It's so cool looking. I did pick up a little fighting conch earlier this morning. There's a smaller Florida fighting conch shell. Elsie, you have a great one too. Yep. One of our good friends down here, Elsie. You see her a lot walking the beach early in the morning. There's a big chunk of coral down here. Looks like it was the base. Looks like this is the base of a big piece of finger coral. Wow. Saw quite a few cockle shells also this morning on the beach. Earlier, here's a nice little cockle shell. Very common, the cockle shells. There's a real nice little one. Great colors. Isn't that beautiful. The early morning colors.
you can see a little reds, a little oranges down there. There's our full moon out there. Ranger Bill coming up here. Making his way up the shore. Good morning, Good morning Bill. There's a conch out, fighting conch out in the water. See if anybody's inside it. See if it's alive. Nope, nothing in there empty shell and there's an old shark eye down there next to it old moon shell that's the eye right there of the shark eye shell the moon shell Peaceful out here. Let's see what we have down here. Lots of shells here, but lots of little broken ones. Up at the high tide and down here as well. All shells along here. Lots and lots of shells. <coughs> Excuse me. Right in, the, <coughs> in this area is where you can smell that red tide. It really stinks. Beautiful scallop. Beautiful scallop shell. Look at all these shells up here. And then we got our shell trees back here. Let's see if that cockle shell is still up here that I put up the other day. I put a whelk. I see the whelk. Yep. Look at that. Beautiful. There's that whelk shell that I hung the other day. And then over there is the cockle shell that I hung a couple days ago. Still there, thank thankfully. Nobody took them off. Beautiful. I'm surprised somebody didn't take that cockle shell or that whelk shell. That is a really cool looking whelk. get back to the beach so that we can find if anything I mean there's always something to find but I'm always looking for something new to add to my little shell collection there's a big slipper shell down there that's a good size little slipper the slipper shell why is it called a slipper well there you go you turn it over it looks like a little shoe, a little slipper. It's 
slipper shell. That's a nice slipper shell right there. Oh, what else is in this pile? A lot of broken shells. I'd like to find some, some murex shells, maybe some moon shells. Maybe some whelk shells, who knows? Just never know what you're going to come across out here. I mean, there's all kinds of little shells. I mean, when you get down and look really close, it's amazing what you find. I mean, there are so many tiny shells down there. I mean, here's a, here's a piece of an old jewel box. There's part of a jewel box, half a jewel box shell. What else do we have down here? Not seeing a lot of worm tips this morning. Usually we see a lot of worm tips, the tips of the worm shells. I haven't seen too many of them out here this morning. Give you a quick look around here. Soak in the view here. Gorgeous, gorgeous Tuesday morning. It's still in the upper 60s, I believe. Expecting a high of oh, around 88 today. There's a piece of a worm shell down here. Nice little piece of worm shell. It's missing the tip. Well, actually, no. This is not the typical worm tip that we see. That's a worm shell. It's got kind of a elongated tip on it, but it's got the tip. That is a worm shell with the tip right there. Very cool. Nice little worm shell. See, the tips usually look more like this. That's more of a, what the tip of a worm shell looks like right there. But you can see that one. It's kind of faded out, but how stretched out the tip is. Very cool. There's another one. They're usually pretty common, these worm tips. But finding the worm shell like that, that's what you want. That's the keeper there, the worm shell. Although the worm tips are cool too. Put it in my pocket and hopefully it won't break while I'm bending over. Another fighting conch shell. Like I said earlier, I've seen I saw a lot of these fighting conchs on the beach this morning. Empty, all empty, empty fighting conch shells. I see a moon shell down there. The shark's eye, can you spot it? I'm looking at it. Can you spot the moon shell down there? I'm gonna slowly move the camera down towards it. See it? There it is. Well, let's pick it up. Turn it over, see if it's in whole shell. Yep, it is. It's a whole shark eye. There you go, nice little moon shell. 
or shark eye shell. This one was laying upside down like that. And I've already seen several people out shelling. See how easy it is just to walk past something? There's a shark eye, also called a moon shell. Some of these have bright blue eyes on them. They call those Paul Newman, Paul Newman eye, when it's bright blue. They come in all different colors and patterns. Some really beautiful ones. This is kind of a plain Jane here. But it's a keeper. I'll keep it. I'm not gonna complain. Let's see what else we can find out here. I probably would have walked right by it if I didn't stop to pick up that conch shell. And it's really hard to spot the shells. And there's so many of them. And a lot of them are half buried in the sand. Buried underneath other shells. The ones that are really hard to spot are the murex shells. Just because of their texture, they really blend in with the sand. And There's the tip of some kind of shell. I don't know what that was. Hopefully Roy is gonna be catching up to me soon here. I wanna just refresh his memory a little bit it's about some of the things we've talked about on the beach. I want him to Make sure he fills that book up. What do we got over here? A little olive shell. Another little olive. We saw an olive earlier this morning. The olive shell. Water's kind of pretty clear out here. Considering all the red tide we've been having. Well, there's a lot of shells right along the edge of the water here this morning. really old whelk, a really, really old lightning whelk. Look at that. Look how worn out that is. Wow. That's pretty cool. Ooh, look at this. There's a big olive shell here. Look at the size of this monster. Wow. Look how big that is. That is a big olive shell right there. Nice one. Wow, old, kind of worn, but that is a big, big olive shell right there. One of our more common shells here, the mossy ark. Find lots of mossy arcs on the beach. More fighting conchs. There's one down there. There's another fighting conch over there. Or just out here this morning. All I need now is for a dolphin to come by and say good morning to us. A 
all God's little treasures all along the beach there. You know, it, when I look at all these little shells, it just blows my mind to think that there was something living inside of these at one time. I mean, that's what's amazing. All of these had something alive inside of them at one time. What happened to all those little creatures? There's just, there's a lot of area to cover this morning. Great morning for shelling if you want to hurry up and get out here before the tide comes in. I got a feeling there's going to be some really nice finds out here. There's a big turkey wing shell. Look at the size of that turkey wing. Isn't that cool, the turkey wing shell? And over here, a big beautiful scallop, almost a red scallop. Isn't that gorgeous? The scallops are so pretty. And the worm, another worm tip, the tip of the worm shell. There he is. Hey, Rob, how so, are you doing? Good. How are you doing today? Wonderful, wonderful. Beautiful sunrise, huh? Oh boy, wasn't that something? I'll tell I tell you what, it was gorgeous. Gosh, I sold three more books this morning. Imagine that. <laughs> you gotta sell quite a few more. Yeah, Carol wants one and Elsie wants one. Just wanna make sure you Sherry. fill that up with good stuff. Don't rush through it. No, no, I, I kind of finished it up last night, but I got it. finished read. it already? Well, was it, 100 pages? Well, it, no, it isn't gonna be that big. But uh, no, I don't wanna, go, I don't wanna are... go on and on, just a lot of words. I mean, it's gotta be, everything's gotta be meaningful. You know, I'm an engineer and I don't, I don't embellish. <laughs> Things have got to be concise. <laughs> so is it going to be a book or is it going to be a pamphlet? Well, it's a booklet. A booklet now? I thought I'd put some pictures in too. Could be worthwhile. Yeah. What do you think? I think pictures are important. Yeah. Absolutely. So I've got a bunch of pictures I can put in. I want to put in Rudy and I on the Iowa back in the old days. And some of those oh, things yeah. like that. Absolutely, those would be great. Oh, good. So well, I want to, I want to chat with you more about it up the beach here, up in, up in our spot up there when we get up there. Okay. I want to refresh your memory a little bit of some of the things we talked about. Make sure oh, you got yeah, those all Oh yeah, that'd be worthwhile. Covered. Well, I can. Yep. Is there something new I can expand the book? What I can remember. Yeah. I want to kind of, we'll go over it and. Hey, wonderful. All right. I appreciate that. All right. Yeah, good, good. All right. I'll see you up there in a little bit. Yeah, the book is, I mean, uh, when I say I fit, I got to redo it. I got to go through the whole thing. And Hi, Carol. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, um, Sandy, it worked fine. She put it there, scanned it, and it types it all out. So. Oh, really? Good. Yep. So that works fine. Because I, uh, I talked to the printer, and they said... Uh, I thought I'd just get the thing typed up and send it to the printer, but oh no, no, it isn't that way. It's, they got, I got to send it to them somehow on the computer. Yeah, it's, it's got to be, be a PDF file. Scanned and, and put on the computer and then they'll, then they'll type, print it from there or something. So I got a, a lady no, that knows no, how to No, Sandy do that. is doing that for you. Oh, Sandy Did you forget this it. already? Sandy came over to your house. Yeah, yeah. Right. And we scanned it, and it's in the computer. The computer reads it and prints it out. Oh, you did? She did scan it. Was it yeah. legible? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Can I see it now on the computer, what she scanned? I guess. I don't know. I guess she could e email it to you. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like yeah, to kind of see absolutely. how it looks. Yeah. See what the computer does with it, because I thought... It my... just looks like you typed it on the computer. I mean, you got to put it into the, a book form now, too. you got to put pages oh, and yeah, all that. Yeah. And... But I, I, Figure out the I size. don't know how the computer could decipher my scribbling. That's what I'm curious about. 
it, you can sit there and talk to your computer and it will print it out for you. These computers are amazing. Yeah, it'll do everything for you. You don't need to know how, how it does it. You just need to be happy you know, that it does I it. I was reading my astronomy. <laughs> I got it in a, uh, astronomy magazine. Uh -huh. It's kind of unbelievable, everything. Yep. But anyway, there was a gentleman in there they're giving a uh, tribute to that was very, very influential in the whole astronomy thing and de determining thing. He just passed away, but he had uh, a form of old timers, Alzheimer's, uh -huh. and he couldn't talk very well. But uh, the computer, this is what made me think of it, there was a computer that would talk by, by seeing his lip movements and his eyes and yep. that sort of thing. I just did a video with a little boy that has one of those. He um, just looks at it looks at his eyes and whatever he looks at on the screen it interprets into words for him. Uh, this computer thing is just kind of yep. unbelievable, isn't it? it? It is amazing. Well, might as well, I guess might as well use it. Instead of being afraid of it and uh, indignant about it, I think we should use it to advantage. Well, I'm going to get a hold of myself so I <laughs> I, I don't uh, resent the thing for confusing well, me. Well, it's frustrating. You know, yeah, it's, that, I, but the thing is, it tells you if you're going to, it asks you, are you sure you want to do this? If you're going to erase something important, it asks you several times, are you sure you want to <laughs> do <know>. this? <laughs> you know, and, it's almost it's like a professor in the college <laughs> or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's intimidating, though. I guarantee it works. I mean, I remember when computers were first becoming popular, it was intimidating. Well, Audrey's computer was huge. It covered up half her oh, office. Yeah. So, yep. so big. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, we... Does a computer ever tell you to shape up or ship out? Oh, it would like to, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it would. Yep. <laughs> Wonders why you're such a dolt and don't understand exactly. things like it does. Well... <laughs> Uh, believe me, I've yelled at my computer once or twice, <laughs> or a couple sure. hundred times. <laughs> does, does it Thankfully, help? It that, doesn't yell back. Does it help the computer if you put your fist through the screen? Then it no. knows who's in charge, right? No, it doesn't. That's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like doing that occasionally, oh, but I restrained. You're not alone. <laughs> I strained myself. <laughs> you're not alone. Believe me. All right, well, let me finish looking along the beach here for some shells, yeah, and we'll catch up fine. there. As long as we can laugh about it, it doesn't matter what it's go. all about. There you go. Yep, I'll catch up with you there at our spot. And... Hey, good show. All right. Look forward to that. All righty. I'll oh, see you in a little bit, bro. I missed you yesterday. Yeah, got to work. And the, the bills don't pay themselves. How is the work going? Going good? It's all right. It's starting to slow down now. Summertime, it gets a little slower. Yeah. So I got to... Yeah find some projects Just here. think of the big money you'll make out in Hollywood. Hollywood, yeah. <laughs> you'll be out there signing autographs for your book and I'll be filming it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a little you while. Start dreaming about what, for, what the dreaming. What your first film is going to be. Oh. I don't think people are into documentaries that much. Think sure of they are. Think of something really zingy. Singing. <laughs> I'll think of a film for you. It'll be Roy plunging. <laughs> we'll make a video of you and your plunges. <laughs> Swimming across Wiggins Pass. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, getting a ticket. <laughs> getting a ticket, yep. But uh, there should be some really interesting film. Let's think of something worthwhile. The, the Old Man and the Sea. The old man in the sea. There was a movie like that. Yeah, well, we'll make it. We'll do a remake. I have just the person in mind. <laughs> I don't know who that could be. <laughs> we'll have to look around for an old man down here on the beach. There must be one around somewhere. There's probably one around here. He's just look for the girls, and you'll find the old man. <laughs> Ogling. <laughs> Oh, Roy. All right. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Okay. Don't step on any dead fish. <laughs> I got my heavy feet Yep. On. Oh, Roy. We'll catch up. We're going to talk. Him. Yep. We'll talk a little bit more about his book. Booklet. Whatever he wants to call it. He's definitely excited about it. Oh, so where were we? We were looking at a turkey 
wing shell and I had it just picked up a nice scallop when Roy had caught up with me there. We were looking at that neat turkey wing shell. A beautiful little scallop over here. This beach is covered with these scallops. They're beautiful. Sometimes you can find some really big ones too. Also the fighting conch shells. Always make sure there's nothing in them before you take them home. Don't take anything alive home. Sea stars, sand dollars. It's like there's two really nice rows of shells on the beach this morning. There's this one just off, just off the water, and then there's this one right along the water. It's hard to cover them both here without crawling on my hands and knees. I'm gonna come up here and chat with Roy and I'm gonna hand the phone over to him again. And I'm gonna let y'all ask him some questions. Give him some ideas for some subject matter to put into that book he's writing. I mean, we talk about so many neat things and I just, I don't want him just brushing it and spitting out this thing overnight. There's a neat little worm tip right there. The worm shell. Another fighting conch shell down here. I see a little piece of a lace murex too. That's the fighting conch. Here, or is that a... Oh no, that's a, what's that, a nutmeg shell? Look at that, isn't that cool? Is that a nutmeg? Look at that, that is awesome. Looking inside the shell. Wow, that's a keeper right there. Get to see the outside and the inside. How neat is that? There's another little fighting conch down here. See, they're almost, they're so pale when they're young. Little fighting conch shell. Piles of little shells on the beach this morning. There's the top of a fighting conch. Another nice turkey wing over there. Another nice turkey wing shell. Aren't those cool, the turkey wings? Worm tip. Anything in this little pile? Another fighting conch over there. It's a scallop. It's almost white. Another 
broken scallop. There's a piece of an angel wing. Those are hard to find. They're so fragile, the angel wings. There's another nice little worm tip. Worm shell. Some finger coral, piece of finger coral. Old fighting conch buried in the sand. Looking north up the beach towards Wiggins Pass. We're making our way south. We started early this morning. Actually caught sunrise. That was great. Beautiful sunrise this morning. And we're just walking back to where we started. Up in area four. Up at the north end of parking lot four where you can find our friend Roy sitting on the beach. And there's a piece of an old banded tulip shell. Well, I'd love to find a tulip shell. It's just a piece of one that's left of it. A little tiny piece of worm rock over here. The worm rock is really cool looking stuff. Just a small piece of worm rock. You can see the worm tubes though. There's a nice little cockle shell. It's a nice cockle. What a gorgeous Tuesday morning out here in paradise. Looks like the top. Looks like the top of a lightning whelk there. It's just the top of one. Lightning whelks are awesome looking shells. Sun's breaking across the beach here. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Got a little smoke on the horizon. There's a mulch fire that's been burning for ever now out in East Naples, way out in Eastern Collier County, out towards Corkscrew Swamp. The wire looks pretty darn nice out here this morning. Look at that. A lot of little fish swimming around right out here, jumping. I don't know if you can see the water swirling around right out here. A 
there's a lot of them out there. Boy, that water is really swirling around. See it all out here. This is right about where we saw the dolphins yesterday. Just briefly, they came in, charged in, got a couple of fish and went back out. Be a great morning to see a dolphin. I miss seeing them up close in the mornings. We haven't seen them for a while. They're here, just been missing them. Pelicans flying around out there. Just can't escape the sound of that dredging barge out there. Oh well. That water is beautiful this morning. Our ranger, Ranger Bill, ready to do some fish collecting. Yeah. Up the dead fish, man, they got their hands full. Tip. Another little wormy tip. Beautiful sky this morning. Beautiful sky, beautiful water. I'm not gagging from the smell of the rotten fish or the red tide. That's a good sign. See a little olive shell rolling around right on the edge of the water. Let's see if it's got its tip on it. Most of the time they don't have the tip. Oh, and this one's just got a little tiny hole in it. That's an olive. That's a nice little olive shell. Nothing in there except a couple other little shells placed in there. The olive shell. It's a nice little specimen. Peaceful listening to the waves here. Just little tiny waves breaking on the shore.
chatting with Roy again here in a few minutes. enjoying a peaceful little stroll down the beach this morning. Gorgeous sunrise. Had a gorgeous sunrise this morning. I used to be able to make it out here every morning to sunrise. Not lately. So it's a real treat when I can get out here for a sunrise. Look back up the beach, out into the Gulf. Really calm out here this morning, very, very calm. Beautiful blue sky. This is a beautiful park. We're up in North Naples, Florida, Del Norwegans Pass State Park. It's a mile of beach here. There's no homes or condos along this beach. It's all natural. They don't do a lot to re-nourish this beach. They just let mother nature run her course here. So the beach is always changing shape and size. We've had red tide for over a month out in the Gulf and it's been coming on shore periodically here over the past month. So there's still dead fish on the beach. The rangers are doing their best to pick them up. The red tide is still out there in the Gulf. Okay, Roy. Roy's wandering on down south. He needs to turn around and get back up here and talk to us. I've got to get moving here soon. It's really nice out here this morning, though. The water looks great. Nice and clear. Look at that. Really calm in the Gulf this morning. Look now the tide is look at, just sculpted the beach here. Isn't that neat? Isn't that cool looking? We're at low tide right now, but isn't that neat? That's so cool. I'm going to take a picture of that. Bear with me for a minute. All right, I'm back. Sorry. Isn't that? That's so cool. 
No footprints through it yet. That is so neat looking. You get a shot of it looking this way too. Bear with me, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. You can only do one thing at a time, video or pictures. Beautiful morning though. Just waiting for Roy to turn around and get back up here so we can converse. this morning beautiful colors nice clear water how clear that is this morning part of a scallop shell down there Gorgeous. Big difference from when I was out here the other day. Wow. Beautiful. We're right in the middle of Area 4 Beach right now. At low tide. Very shallow out here. Love this view out here. I'm just offshore. Oh, here comes Roy making his way back up. I don't know if you can see him down there. Beautiful. Let's go say, see what Roy, I want to talk to Roy some more about his book. Hey, Rod. So. Yes, Rod, I've got the plot for your movie all figured out. You got the plot for our movie figured out? Oh, is it going to be a, uh, it'll be an absolute winner. Well, what's that? You'll get the Academy Award. Okay. Well, here's the plot. The plot for our movie. Jack got this beautiful blonde gal and a big handsome Harry. And they're sailing on their beautiful little yacht, and they're sailing in the South Seas. <laughs> and everything is just absolutely idyllic. It's so beautiful. You have beautiful pictures of them sailing in the islands and the lagoons. And then they go swimming, and, and you know, they have the underwater pictures of sure. her, this beautiful gal swimming down amongst the coral, beautiful coral reefs. And, uh -huh. Yeah, oh, they just, <laughs> just an idyllic time, you know. He's a big, handsome Harry, and he's swimming with her. Everything is absolutely idyllic and beautiful. Then along come the evil pirates. Pirates. 
Oh, they're ugly, evil people, and they wheel up, and they grab, they kidnap this beautiful girl, and they, of course, he tries to prevent it, and they strike him, and he plops down, and they, they kidnap the girl, and they, <laughs> and he's got to pay a ransom to get her back, a big ransom. Of course. And, and so, um, uh, he doesn't have the money for the ransom. He naturally gets a hold of the authorities, and, uh, they, uh, they kind of blunder around and can't, can't get anything accomplished and the kidnappers are evil and they say if, if they try to, to grab her that they'll kill her and the whole thing. So then he, the big handsome Harry, he manages to, uh, to sneak into their compound and rescue the girl and they come out and they all live and they live happily ever after. The now, now isn't that a winner? Sounds like it's been done before. <laughs> I don't remember but seeing it. There you go. Okay. So do you want to be in the movie? <laughs> you want to be one of the pirates? <laughs> I thought I'd be the big handsome Harry. Uh, I think you can be a pirate. <laughs> you can, you be the handsome no, Harry. You'd no, we need a well real handsome that. Harry for that. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, I thought it'd be a good well, movie. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. You just want to be there while we're to see the beautiful blonde girl. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there'd be a beautiful blonde girl well, in your, you gotta in have your a movie. you got a beautiful blonde. I think it's important. <laughs> but, you know, it's beautiful. The swimming in those those reefs are so Oh, it's under, gorgeous. Absolutely. And they get underwater pictures of her swimming with her bikini and all that sort of thing. I mean, I think it would be a, a really good movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remember Esther Williams who used to swim? Yep. Oh, those beautiful pictures of old Esther Williams. She was quite the swimmer. Oh, yeah. Roy. <laughs> Well, really, I mean, yeah, uh, it's, it's, absolutely. Uh, these these gals are terrific swimmers. They're beautiful, really. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your book. Okay. Let's walk along. Let's walk up the beach and chat a little more about that. Well, you know, some of the things that we talked about over the years, you know, that I, I hope are in the book. I'm sure they are. You know, we talked about the importance of prayer. Yeah, I've got I've you, got a whole section on prayer. Prayer. We talked about, uh, of course all kinds of different things about health i mean all i mean when we say health we talk about lots of different things well yeah you know, i've got a vitamin, health i've got a health chapter your but vitamin I, C, I could expand it i think I, I, I the think, serotonin did you write about serotonin yeah about prayer and serotonin and we talked about just the other day we talked about emotions emotion, i've got a whole section on emotions we talked about thankfulness we spent a long yeah, time talking about I've being got, thankful. I think I have to expand thankfulness. Yeah, and we I'll we spent a lot of time talking about control. Control, I got control. Controlling, there. you know, your emotions, your mind your, control. Yeah, I yeah. got a section on control. We spent. Let's see, what else did we talk about? When we get back, I better make some notes here. Yeah, we talked. We've talked about so many things over the years, haven't we? Though. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I we wondered. talked about the aliens coming down and visiting us. <laughs> Did, you got anything about them in the book? No, I didn't bother <laughs> with that. You need to put the aliens in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think the aliens would read the book? So that, it might be another audience. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they get their behavior from the book. We talked about... Let's see, Say, you know, my astronomy magazine I was telling you about. Right. They've got a section there that they've... They've located possibly water on some other planets, and the water right. is vital for life, apparently. Oh, absolutely. So um, That's they're interesting. still striving to find life elsewhere. I mean, I think something you need to include in that book, I think you should start the book. I mean, everybody that's buying this book, they know you from the beach here. Uh -huh. And they'd love to know just how you got started coming out here. You know, just maybe a little story about what you can remember when you first came out? What got you out here? Well, I love beaches. All my life I've been close to beaches. We grew up in, um, in uh, Milwaukee, well, a shore north of Milwaukee, and we lived uh, just a few blocks from a, from a beach park, and, a, and when we were kids, we always went down there and swam in Lake Michigan. Pretty darn cold. So you almost had here. gills when you were born, huh? You came <laughs> close to being a fish. So uh, you, we went down to, to uh, Lake Michigan all the time to a beach there. So when you when you first came to Naples, did you live up here in Naples Park, or did you live somewhere else? Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. So different, you were different spots in Naples Park. But you but you were coming to 
Were you always coming to this beach, to Del Norwegans? Well, we ferried it around here in Florida, different spots. So we used to go on the East Coast years ago when, uh, when we used to come down. And uh, we went to uh, Ormond Beach, north of Daytona uh -huh. Beach. And uh, that was great and all, but I like the Gulf beaches much better. Yeah, it's a lot calmer. It's a lot yeah, different. Well, the water's warmer. And yeah. Those are the good beaches, nice big waves roaring in, but they had automobiles on the beach, so yeah. it wasn't like this park here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, when I was a little kid, we lived in Daytona Beach for a year. Oh, you did? Well, yeah. then you know what that's about. Yeah. Well, I was just a little, I was a little kid. They used to race cars on yeah. Daytona, Oh, yeah. They? That's where they first started. Before they had the racetrack, they would race on the beach. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. That See, something. to me, they went up the beach on one, and then they turned around and they went, uh, inland on a return trip or something. I don't know. They used to have a boardwalk there when I was a kid with yeah. like rides and stuff. And uh, uh, I don't know what Daytona looks like now. So Be I like this, this park here is so wonderful because uh, it isn't all developed up with big right. high rises and that's what's nice about you it. You know, and then there's no algae hall of consume. And you don't have people up in their balconies peering down at you with their binoculars. Yeah. <laughs> All these, like you do on these other condos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, looks like we got some volunteers down there picking up the dead fish on the yeah, beach. Yeah, isn't that something? It's Boy, great that they do that, yeah, I'll tell you. There's a lot of fish to pick up yeah. here. So, okay. Wayne, so how long do you really think you've been coming out here to Del Norwegians? Oh, maybe 20 years or so. 20? Yeah, I'd say so. Do you think, were you up here in the same spot pretty much the whole time? Area well, we four? tried different spots, but I just kind of like it here for some reason. I know there's nice pine trees and other spots too. Just kind of got settled in here. <laughs> You've seen a lot of people come and go here, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, they're all wonderful people, I'll tell you. All very friendly. Yeah. Made some good friends down here. Something. That's part of my book, too, is friendship. Friendship. That was a big, yeah. big thing we've talked about was friendship. Yeah. And you know, you, it's amazing you can get started on a on a lifelong close friendship. Just You can start by just a smile when you meet people. Just a big smile or a good morning. Hmm. Just this, that starts things off. Pretty soon you're chatting a little bit and you, get, you have things in common and it kind of develops into a... A close friendship. Just all starts with Isn't a smile. That something? Yeah. <laughs> Curiosity. I don't know if ours started with a smile. I, <laughs> I remember when I first met you, I was over there with one of our rangers, Carl, who's gone now. We were looking at one of the turtle nests. Yeah. And you kind of walked up behind us. And we were, oh, yeah, it was by a turtle nest. Yep. That's we started right. chatting. And then a couple days later, I came back and I started talking to you. and telling you that we were live on Facebook. <laughs> ah, I couldn't believe it, yeah. And a number of people watching. Yeah, well, back then it was, oh, I think we started out with, oh, maybe 3,000 people. <laughs> now we're getting close to 21,000 people. 21,000, it's yeah. unbelievable. Isn't it unbelievable how many people yeah. follow us oh, to characters? <laughs> oh, they're all great people, too. Yeah, all, they are. Nice all of our people. friends on Facebook, thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's because of them that they motivate me to come out here. You motivate me to come out here, but they do too. Well, that's wonderful. I, mean, I, I think, Rob, I've told you dozens of times what you're doing, I think, is, is very, very um, worthwhile and important because it kind of brings people together. Well, that's the that's idea. That's a big thing. I mean, it's, it's to bring people together while enjoying a peaceful environment. Yeah. You know, Isn't that right? We're, boy. Yeah, this environment, just even the waves washing in, it's almost hypnotic down here. I mean, waves washing in. Isn't it, though? Birds flying and look at the, Look at the sun, the colors in that water. Yeah, the sun blue, reflecting blue, off. Blue. It is just beautiful out here this morning. You know what I heard? That, you know, you always think the ocean, the water is so beautiful blue. What, I, what I've heard is the water has absolutely no color at all. It reflects the sky. That's why it's blue. Ah. It reflects the blue sky. Uh, isn't that interesting? Well, that's interesting, yeah. I always thought it was because of what was ever in the water, the plankton, no, no, and the, the because sky. the Gulf well, I'm is sure kind of a green. sometimes there's brown things in the water, you right. know, maybe some algae. But that's how it gets its color. But well, this water here this morning is just, it's a nice change from what it's been like the, the past few days. the sky is blue because uh, the light, light comes through the sky 
You know, light is composed of basic colors. Roy G. Biv, red, orange, red, red orange, green, yellow, ROY, G, the green, B, uh, blue, blue, indigo, violet. Mm -hmm. Those are the basic colors. Right. Any other color is a mixture of yeah. those. So when the light comes well, through you the see air, the, you see the colors the in the atmosphere. The, the atmosphere filters out the other other light, and the blue is left over. That's there why the sky is ah, blue. Okay. Well, you see the colors in the rainbow. You yeah, see the yeah. the basic co the the basic colors in the rainbow. That's what the rainbow is. Boy, remember when we had that uh, rainbow foam? Have on that name? Oh gosh, I've never seen that since. There've been some little ones occasionally, but nothing like that. Those huge bubbles with the beautiful rainbows. Boy, mm. we've had some times down here, haven't we? Oh my gosh, yes. Turtles We've seen a lot of things. Turtle nests. And turtles, turtles and turtle eggs and yeah. sharks. Remember when all the sharks were swimming Ooh. along the beach? Yeah. Just all along the beach, up and yeah. down. Yeah, they weren't real big, but they yep. were sharks. Manatees. Yeah. Of course, our dolphins. We've got to see ah, some dolphins. Some dolphins yesterday, yeah. three of them. Did you? Yeah, really. And one flipped the fish. I oh, never wow. saw they flip the fish that good 20, 25 feet. I don't know why. You know, sometimes you see them flip them a little bit. Right. Before. Yeah, they play Ooh, with their food. The fish really their went. mother never told them not to play with their food, I guess. I don't know why they were <laughs> milling around. There was three of them, big ones. Gosh. <laughs> well, I want to get over to the, up to the bench there. I want to sit down. I want to hand the, this over to you for a minute. And I want people to, I, people have a lot of questions for you. I like and, questions. And maybe they it might some of these if they ask you some questions it might inspire maybe another chapter in the book or something maybe they'll well, come up I, with some more chapters the merrier I'm there you go for it, but I, I i'm not just putting in a lot of words 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 that are just kind of redundant or meaningless you know what i mean absolutely i mean every word's got to be important every word counts yeah. absolutely all right, well, I'll meet you up there in a second, all right? Good, good. I'll let you get settled up there. Let's go. Just gonna head up to where Audrey's bench is up there. Give you a look around here, absolutely gorgeous, but I'm gonna hand the phone over to Roy and let you ask him a couple questions. Hopefully it'll lead to another chapter or two in his book. So anything you'd like to hear about, about his life, or it's really, he's kind of shared his wisdom with us over the years with tips for longevity, I guess is what you could say on how he's made it to 93, mostly by living right. I mean, that's the secret is living well, living right. So as soon as he gets up there and gets settled in, I'm gonna pass the phone over to him. Give you another look around here. Beautiful Tuesday morning. The red tide has subsided at least for today. You can see we're at low tide right now. Had a great sunrise this morning. Made it out here early, early enough to catch sunrise. There's our osprey nest up there in the top of the tree, right up there. Well, let's head over here, up to Audrey's bench. Audrey was Roy's late wife, passed away several years ago. And he had a bench put up here in the park in her memory. It was a beautiful gesture. 
I thought I'd dedicate the book to Audrey. I know I said I'd dedicate it to I definitely, you, I say dedicate it to Audrey. Yeah, and I, I thought I'd put in this little... Absolutely, prayer, prayer include the I, poem that you wrote. The poem that I wrote was on our wedding announcement. You read that on your, wrote that on your wedding day, that poem. Go ahead and read that for us. A time of love, a time of prayer, a time to tell we really care. A time to dance, a time to sing, a time to hear the heavens ring. A time to leave the outworn way, a blessed time, a newborn day. A time for comradeship and friends, a time, a time that never ends. Oh, Roy, that's beautiful. And that was from your wedding day. Yeah, I put that on the wedding announcement, that poem I read. What year was that? Oh, golly me, you know, I... <laughs> I, yeah, that's I don't, all right. I don't remember dates kind of on purpose because I hate to. Yeah. I figure it's just like right now. There you go. It <laughs> happened to, it's happening right now. Yeah. Yep, exactly. So I don't, I don't put blame down you. dates about your know, lifetime and born. I don't blame I, you. I, I, it's not relevant. Absolutely. <laughs> well, that's beautiful. And I love the bench. There's a lot of people that enjoy this bench, you know that? They come out here and sit and watch the sun, the sunset. Hey, you know, when there was that big typhoon, uh huh, that actually twisted this. Oh, it turned it. The, had it facing the other way. A wave that turned this big heavy bench around. Yep. Hurricane Irma spun and this bench. They even had a, a post, all the way steel around. post, and it was chained to the post. The post is gone. <laughs> Chains are gone, but it, it didn't go anywhere. It stayed there though. It just turned it around. <laughs> Fortunately. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Gosh. Those are some waves, I guess. A whole parking lot full of sand. Wow. Well, let's see if we can do this again. Let's see if I can get this set up. Have a seat there. Looks like the birds like her best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got to get some Windex or something and clean the bird poop off. <laughs> ah. Let's see if I can flip this around here. Ah, what a day. Well, All right. Questions go so fast. I know the questions do shoot by the screen. There's, There's no way to slow them down. Huh? No, they just kind of come and go here. But let's see if I can. We're right, you got the sun right behind you here. It's kind of bright. Make sure you can see your people can see your face there. Hello, everybody. Whoops. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I think I so got now, Oh, there's some questions. There. Next time I visit my family in Bonita Springs, I'm coming to that bench for inspiration, says Tony. How oh, nice, Tony. Lynn Foster. Hello, Roy. Whoops, I went too fast. Here's from Joyce. Hi, Roy. Joyce from Scotland here. Well, from Scotland. Jenny Ann says, hi, Roy. Gail McGillery says, hi, Roy. Hi, everybody. Ha. Huh. Hi, Roy. Chris from Michigan. How many? Whoops. <laughs> it just disappeared. <laughs> Sponsor for the bench. It does. Whoops. Here's Jenny Ann. Roy, good morning. Hi, Roy. This is Lynn. Boy, a lot of highs. Hi, a lot everybody. Of highs. Hi, everybody. Great seeing you, that's for sure. <laughs> let's, have some, let's have some questions there. <laughs> some questions for Roy. Hey, it just stopped. <laughs> oh, there. Right. Inkert Rickon says hi, Roy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> well, isn't that nice of everybody to say hi that way? This is their chance to... Judy says, Judy from, from Kentucky, what was your occupation? I'm an engineer. I was a building contractor and an engineer. <laughs> How many kids you have? Got three. Great kids. Check is in the mail for my, for my book. Oh, Becky Guzzo says it's got checks in the mail. Woo! Well, I gotta get the book printed, that's for sure. Oops, I hear that. What year did you, whoops, it's gone. Hi, Roy, you remember me, Linda, sitting with you at the Red Tomato for your birthday. Oh yeah, Linda, hi, Linda. <laughs> yeah, we had a good time. <laughs> and above that says, best of wishes, Roy, I love you, but I don't see who it was that loves me. But it's nice to be loved. <laughs> oh, everybody loves you. Ah, Judy says, can't wait for your book. And what's your most treasured memory, says Joyce. Well, a treasured memory was of my bride, Audrey. Ah, <laughs> ah. Oh, checks in there, too. Can't wait for your book, says Gail. Gosh, a lot of checks in the mail, Rob. <laughs> boy, oh, boy, that's great. Well, I get 50 of them, I'll get it printed up. Ha, <laughs> ha. 
Well, yeah, that's boys. wonderful. I do, Roy Linda. Oh, golly. Ha, ha, ha. Here says Lloyd, what's your favorite type of music? Well, I like something kind of, uh, uh, oh, kind of old time, but with kind of nice zest to it. Ha, 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 ha. Joyce Payne says, that's lovely. XX, boy, XX. Linda. You're a great man of wisdom. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> you know about oh, wisdom. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's what your book is full of. Your book is full of wisdom. Well, I don't know if it's wisdom, but it's just kind of interesting, fun thoughts. Just enjoying life, and and and, and it's kind of how to enjoy life. <laughs> I guess everybody knows how to do that. Do you see a lot of your kids? Not really. They're back up in uh, the Midwest, but I see my daughter comes down Thanksgiving, which is really great. Uh, uh, see you the first week of June, Roy, says Cynthia. Do you have your bride like to do as a young couple? What do we like to do? Oh, we went walking together quite a bit. That was really delightful. Uh, have any pets? Yeah, I had a golden retriever I used to come when I'd ride my horse, oh, that golden would run alongside. Ah, wonderful dog. <laughs> Horseback riding. Here, I, she says, I'm amazing. You're 93 years old. I don't know who it was, but she's sending the check. Good morning, says Joni. Good morning, Joni. Joyce, can you see, can you set up a PayPal account for the book, Rob? Here yeah, says Joyce work, Palin. We're gonna work on that. Hey, let's do that. I don't know what it's all about, but but I uh, get that worked out for you. Sometime. What I'm going to try to do is to get more friendly with a computer. I guess you these days you just can't live without it, so you might as well embrace it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I decided not to be antagonistic. I'm going to be loving towards the computer. I'm loving towards the computer. <laughs> it's going to be a, it's going to be a job, but I'll work on it. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's the yeah. whole thing. Gosh sake, when I went to engineering college, we didn't even have calculators. We had a slide rule. Really? Yeah, that's how you knew engineers. We had a slide <laughs> rule hanging on our belt and a little le leather packet. Then you knew it was an engineer. Yes. Slipstick. There you go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it worked pretty good. Somebody else there? Anybody else out there? Ah, here's Tony, here's Sandra. A few pages are in the computer. There you go. Oh, that was Sandy, huh? Yeah. Oh, good. Thanks, Sandy. Michigan or see Lake Superior? Whoops. University of Michigan. Oh, lived in Wisconsin. Tony, how's how? Whoops, gone. Tony, love. Love that one, Roy. Be friendly with the computer. <laughs> she must have just heard me an instant ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't beat up the computer. <laughs> oh, Lord. Somebody says I'm a sage. I'm a sage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to That's say. That's the first. <laughs> That's the first time I've been called a sage. Yeah. Is that complimentary? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Sandra says welcome. Jennifer Ann says hi, Patty. <laughs> Cynthia oh, says, "What were your first car?" Oh gosh, that's. Well, I think it was an old Hazy back in 1902. <laughs> a Hazy car. Yeah, it was my great grandparents' car. They made Hazies in Milwaukee. <laughs> That's quite a story right there. I wish they'd have hung on to one. I understand they're kind of valuable now. That's a chapter in your book. My right brother there. found one in an antique, uh, uh, antique museum or something. Some guy had it. He wanted twenty thousand dollars for the old Hazy. Wow. <laughs> I wish. I wish they'd have kept a warehouse full That's of them. That's an interesting little story for your book right there. <laughs> you got a picture of it too. Hi, Roy from Taylor. You love your stories and you. <laughs> You're such an inspiration. I don't know why I'm an inspiration. <laughs> Just as I enjoy all these good friends. <laughs> Kyle says hello from Avon, Connecticut. Gee, the one was from Scotland. Yeah, that, that was um, Joyce. You meant We've met Joyce out here. Joyce gave us some chocolates, brought us some. Oh yeah, candy. yeah. She was from Scotland. Yeah. Oh, yeah. those yummy chocolates. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Gosh sake, I'll have to send my book over to Scotland. Absolutely, it's <laughs> going to go worldwide. 
I suppose the post office would know how many stamps on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Lisa says, I'm not too far from you. Whoops, she's gone. And, uh, these go away so fast. Yeah, they pop up. Here, here Chris says, you, you're an inspiration because you're positive. There you go. Well, isn't she nice? Thank you, dear. Thanks, everybody. Patty says, thanks for bringing us all together. Here, do you watch this? Yeah, I'll take that off your Bye. Hands. All Boy, right, we're well, going to flip it around. Wasn't that sweet here. of everybody? Isn't that nice? Everybody, so Bear kind with me here. Great uh, talk of them, really. It is, isn't it? Got so many great friends out here. Well, they're just beautiful, wonderful Hey, what people. time is it there, boss? What time? Well, it's 8.35. Oh, my goodness. I got to get moving. I'm running late here. I got a meeting at 9. <laughs> I oh, get my home. gosh. I don't think I'm going to make it on time. Oh, oh. well. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great talking to you. It's wonderful talking to you, Rob. And uh, looking forward to the book. I'll, I'll be out here again. We'll talk about some more things. Maybe we'll, it'll trigger some more thoughts for the book here. Well, if they've got my address, 718. They got it. 718, 95th Avenue North, Naples, Florida, 34108. They got it. Good. They've got the address. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roy. You have a wonderful day. It's okay. always great seeing you and chatting with you it's out here. Wonderful seeing you, Rob. Gosh sake. Be and safe out here today. Thanks for everything you're doing. Oh, on you're this quite welcome. Facebook thing because uh, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't uh, be able to sell it this way. And this way, people are uh, contacting me, and I sure appreciate it. Uh, and uh, I'm going to work on the book and make it uh, really worthwhile. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Have a great day. Thank God you. bless. Bless you, Rob. Bless All you. right. See you later, Roy. Have a good day. Our good friend, Roy. Tally-ho. <laughs> Tally-ho. Tally Tally 93 years old. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Be sure to tell all your friends about Southwest Florida. Be sure to tell all your friends about Southwest Florida Television take some time to check out all of my photos and videos on Facebook. I'm sure you can find something you like. Well, have a wonderful day. Wherever you're at, wherever you're watching from in this big, beautiful world we live in. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.